Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. If you ask most people how long it takes for the moon to revolve around the Earth, they would probably say a month, or maybe 29 days, or maybe even one day. In reality, 27.3 or 29.5 would both be correct. It just depends on your point of view. Let's investigate. Measuring the motion of the moon around the Earth relative to the distance of the stars leads us to what is called the sidereal period. Sidereal means related to the stars. The sidereal period is the time required for the moon to complete one revolution around the Earth with respect to a fixed point outside the system, like a star. The sidereal period of the moon is the time needed for it to return to the same position against the background of stars. The moon appears to move completely around the Earth in about 27.3 days, as observed from the Earth. Again, this is called the sidereal month, and it represents the orbital period of the moon around the Earth. Now, measuring the motion of the moon around the Earth relative to the sun leads us to what is called the synodic period. The synodic period is the time required for a body within the solar system to return to the same period or approximately the same position relative to the sun as seen by someone on earth. Think full moon to full moon. The moon takes roughly 29.5 days to go from full moon to full moon or new moon to new moon. So why are the sidereal and the synodic lunar months not in equal lengths? Remember that the earth moves in its own orbit around the sun. The synodic period is related to the lunar phases it depends on the relative locations of the Sun, Earth, and Moon. If we start measuring at full moon, then one sidereal month later we will not yet be back to a full moon, since the moon just traveled further in its orbit around the Earth to reach the same Sun, Earth, Moon alignment, because the Earth moved along its orbit around the Sun, and now the moon must catch up to this new position. And this takes just two days to do so. So in summary, the sidereal period is 27.3 days, which has a star as a reference, and the synodic period is roughly 29.5 days with the sun as a reference. Thanks for watching, and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.